So, Ryan, the last uh, couple of times we've gotten together to talk, we've talked about, uh, well, you did a sermon a couple of weeks ago that was yeah. talking about, you know, in order to grow in faith or in life, you have to start first, but be honest to God and God right. is big enough to handle those things. Yeah. And then the last video we talked about how, if you're not honest with yourself, you yeah. may end up in the floor of the Capitol, storming yeah. the building, doing things you never thought were possible. But there is one more level that I think we have to discuss here because beyond honest to God and honest to yourself, it's honest to others. And it's yeah. finding that way to speak truth to others, but in a loving way. Right. It's one of the most challenging things to find yourself having to do when you know that you're like, I see something I don't like, but I don't want to upset that person. I yeah. don't want to disappoint them. I don't want them to be mad at me or break yeah. our relationship. So in our Iowa nights, we typically find, well, I just won't say anything. Yeah, and say I nothing. Yeah. And really that's such a disservice to people because – if we love and care for them and we want them to be successful and to grow, it's not like we're trying to judge and be nitpicky. We're just really right. honestly trying to help. And and as much as it may hurt, we really do want other people to speak right. back into our lives as well. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there is a group of people who have no problem being honest with others. <laughs> Sometimes they tend to be the people without any tact who don't really care how it's received on the other end. They tend to be the ones though who are at least the most courageous to be like, hey, here's an issue. You need to hear this. And the problem with that too, though, is sometimes they don't have the relational equity right. with people. And so if somebody you don't know or you don't have a good relationship comes up and starts pointing that finger, yeah, mm-hmm. our, our defenses go up and yeah. we're just like, well, get out of my face and what about you? Yeah. And so I think probably what we're saying Thing is the first thing we have to realize is have a relationship with that person. Right. Don't just don't just walk around going, "Well, I'm going to judge you," and I'm going to. That's yeah. not what we're saying. You're at all. not invited to speak into somebody's life right. if you don't have the relationship with them. Then right. you don't have the invitation to speak truth that might be challenging. Right. And on the on the flip side, though. If you have a friend or someone who is speaking to you and they say something to you that you may not like, you, we need to be open to receiving that. Right. But I do know one of the big challenges we have, is, and you and I use this example all the time, is we tell ourselves a story. Yeah. And so when someone may begin to critique us or criticize us in some way, well, that's how we take it, we start telling ourselves a story, well, they're this and they're that and they don't love me and mm-hmm. they don't care about me. Right. But if we stop and we pull back then we have the potential for growth. Right. And I mean, whether you're a follower of Jesus or not a follower of Jesus, we all want to grow and improve and be better as followers of Jesus. That like the Bible shows us pictures of bringing people around us. Like Jesus is, he walked with the 12 and he spoke harsh words to them to grow them. But for some reason we sit and we instead live by our culture instead of what we saw modeled for us by Jesus. And we just say, well, you know, maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe they won't, but it's not my job to perhaps upset the apple cart. Right. And, uh, but as followers of Jesus, we are to be courageous, yeah. we're to be good friends, yeah. we're to invest in other people, and we're to speak that hard word in love. And sometimes, yeah, it brings a little bit of conflict. You and I, yeah. we've had conflict in our relationship. Occasionally. Occasionally. <laughs> but we're close enough in our friendship that yeah. when we know we're stepping into it, we yeah. both know we're going to get to the bottom of right. it. But it doesn't mean that it's easy. No, it's never easy. And also, I think probably one of the takeaways, if you're watching this video, is if you have good close friends, give them permission. Yeah. You know, and I've done this with you before as we're hashing things out and talking about things here at the church. You know, I'll look at you occasionally and say, you know, if I'm wrong here, please speak back into me. And yeah. I, you do want to give people permission because it is kind of awkward just to come out of the blue and say something. Mm-hmm. But, you know, hey, if you see something in me, I want you to point it out. If I'm not treating my wife correctly, if I'm being harsh with my kids, if I'm not doing my job well here, if I'm ignoring somebody, yeah. step, you know, speak into those. Cause I, we talked in the last video about blind spots. Yep. Sometimes we need that outside right. voice. We need other people to willing it. to be honest with others. Yep. That includes with you and with me yep. so that we can grow in COVID. we don't have a lot of connection. We don't have a lot of relationship, yep. but this is a really good time for us to focus on the relationships yep. that we have been holding on to that we yep. have been close to and growing those even deeper. Cause when you make that connection and you have that challenging word with somebody, honestly, at the end of that, conversation at the end of bringing resolution to whatever hard word you spoke, your relationship is deeper than before you had that conversation. Right. So our video today is just to say, 
Go out and allow people to be honest with you and in those close relationships. If you see things in your friends, be honest with others.